everybody welcome back to my channel science of planning i wanted to make a special video for my channel um i've been, always wanted to try to do this but my desk is usually very messy and so now that i'm on break i figured i would absolutely go through and give you guys a tour of my desk space um and then of course my bookshelf over here which is actually organized <laughs> this time around so if that is something you're interested in i hope you stay tuned Okay, y'all, we are going to start with my desk area and then we will move over here into my bookshelf. As far as where I'm planning, I am in a spare bedroom that we have, but I don't take up the entire space. As you can see, I'm mostly in this corner area of this bedroom. Um, and I officially moved into this room during March, I want to say around spring break, when we had to close down the schools, we went to social distancing and virtual learning, and I knew I needed like my own desk space. So that's when I moved everything into this corner. We're going to start over here on this side of my desk. This is going to be my iMac desktop computer. It is in the 27 inch model, but it is a much older model. I don't even know how long I've had this one here, but it is still in great working condition, which is one of the reasons why I love Apple products. Um, so I am still using this model here um, for just kind of like my personal, and then I love having a much larger screen that goes with my desktop as well. Then I also have a little desk fan um, next to it. Now I do have my desktop sitting on a monitor stand. Um, I got this one from Target. It is a metal um, material, which is what I was looking for, something that I knew would be sturdy for whatever I wanted to put on it. And I was also looking for something that is black. Underneath it, it's all empty there. Um, I kind of wish it had shelves on the other side, but for this one, it is perfect because I usually just stack a couple of things in here. Um, one of them is going to be the actual keyboard for my computer, I like to slide this under. Um, and then same thing for the mouse, I will move that one um, around when I'm not using it underneath there for it. And then I also have a couple of other things. One of them is going to be my paper cutter. It fits perfectly. So I do have my iPad, I've been using it a lot more for work lately. And then I have a keyboard that attaches to it as well underneath here. And then this is just a portable wireless phone charger that I don't really need right now, but it's great for trips as well. I did get that from Amazon, so I will also link that in the description below for you guys. And then the last thing that I have on this side here is going to be a notepad. I usually like to keep one on my desk um, because I don't want it to be too much of a clutter, but I am loving this one recently as far as keeping track of just a project or just even if it's just a couple of notes, I love filling this paper up. Next up is going to be this middle portion of my desk here. Um, I don't have a monitor stand on here because I kind of like to push things back um, and have this whole space open in front of me. It's really helpful for me, especially when I'm grading papers, that way I can make piles in front of me and then I have my workspace right here. Um, but for right now, the way I have it um, for what I'm going to use it for later today is I have my work laptop sitting here. This is what I use um, for back and forth. So I sometimes I'll keep it here. If I'm not using it, I'll probably take it off and and then I place it on top of here so that way I can have this extra space. Behind it, I don't have a lot, um, especially if I'm going to need that space. I want something that's easy to move. And then I also want something that's easy to grab. So for right now, I do have some pin cups um, that are storing some of my most used pins and markers and highlighters. So these are my two pencil cup holders that I found on Amazon. They are both acrylic um, and of course they'll be linked in the description below. They are sitting on my desk back behind my computer so that way they're just easier to grab, especially this cup here. This one has all of my mild liners that I use for budgeting and so I kind of already have them taped off and so when I sit down to do my budget at my desk I just pull this whole cup of highlighters over to me um, so that way I can use them for that task. In this cup, I just have a few of my favorite pens and pencils. Um, I do have my favorite black pens in here. That is going to be the Sharpie pen. I also have some mechanical pencils in here. Um, I love using pencils, especially when I'm planning for work. And then of course, Tombow wise, um, I'd have to say my favorite Tombow colors are probably going to be the N95. It is a beautiful light gray tone. And I also am loving the 850, which is a really, really light pink. 
um, for them and I like to use these mostly for highlighting and then the last thing that I have is going to be some decorations usually I have like a vase of flowers but for Christmas I decided to put this little pine tree decoration I found this at Target in the dollar spot side over here you do see another black monitor stand so I kind of have like a gap in between those two here um, and I love having this one here if I want to put my laptop up here so that way that is also elevated or I can kind of put any other items up here so one of the things that I always have is going to be this lamp that's here in the corner I did get this from Ikea I love the size of it it is a good small lamp for the corner definitely provides plenty of light and then over here I have a card stand that is actually holding all of my page flags right now so I did get this card stand off of Amazon there are four heights or four levels to it and I initially had all of my page flags just in a drawer but it made it really hard to kind of flip through and find the colors that I was using for my planner or maybe for a photo and so stacking them up like this has made it so much easier to find the exact page flags that I need um, up at the top over here I have the page flags from cloth and paper I also have these square page flags from cloth and paper that are down here and then in this bottom row I have some beautiful page flags from top paper co right, and then I do have some things that are stored underneath this monitor stand um, one of them here I have a ruler I also have my happy planner punch this is the new one in white this came from um, the Happy Planners collection with Stephanie Fleming and her Plan a Happy Life release. This one, I got so lucky, guys. I got this on, like, super sale. Um, I believe they're still on the Michaels website. If you can't find them there, they are found on the Happy Planner website. All right, next up, I just have a regular tape and stapler. Um, I always thought about getting, like, a set that would possibly... I guess match or just look a little bit more <laughs> cohesive but I'm already having black hardware so I figured having a black tape dispenser and stapler would be fine <laughs> it should be good this is probably the only thing that I'm probably going to replace soon which is this hole punch here um I did buy this on a whim real quickly it is a hole punch that you can adjust um, and I did get this at Michael's so here I have a couple of different options and the reason why I wasn't too picky about what type of hole punch I got here was because I was only using it to punch just a couple of inserts just maybe two or three I just needed a hole punch at the time but now that I'm starting to use a lot more inserts and cash envelopes that require this type of hole punch I'm probably going to invest in a black color now and one that's a little bit more sturdy and can hold some more paper but if you're interested in something that is very affordable you know you won't need it for a lot of heavy duty projects I would highly recommend this one it is from Agenda 52. What I have on here is just a cup holder um it says sick and bears I did go to Baylor University so I absolutely love having just a little bit of my Baylor memorabilia around um and so this one will either sit up here for that cup of coffee that I like to have or I can place that over here on my desk. I forgot to mention my mouse pad here. Um, it's nothing special. I don't really need anything that's like really high tech. It's just a mouse pad, black one. Again, I want to keep a lot of black um, on my desk. And then this is like my favorite brand of mouse. This is from the Logitech. Um, I do love this one because it's very small and I do take this one back and forth with me to work. Uh, I store my magnetic clips on the sides of these monitor stands because they are metal, they are magnetic. Um, so here on this side, I do have all of my clips that I have from the Moterm store. I purchased all of these on AliExpress. Just to go through the colors, I have white, taupe, gray, black, and then this one is going to be the black Croco leather and again, these are all from the Moterm shop that I got from AliExpress. And then over here on this side, I do have my other brands of clips. These are my Alibot clips here. Um, this one is going to be the color Manhattan. This was um, an exclusive to a subscription box. And then this one I did get from the shop. So these are just ones I'm not using right now. And then I actually have a clip back here, I don't know if you can see, that's holding my, or my cord that plugs into my computer for my iPhone. Um, and I'm using an Alibot clip to kind of hold it together and then stick it to here. Alright, 
Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is what I have on the wall that is in front of my desk and it is going to be a grid bulletin board. I purchased this on Amazon. Um, it did come with a couple of parts but then I had to order a couple of different accessories. So the grid bulletin um, came by itself but it did come with the hooks for it and I loved it because the pack came with two of the grids and I got to choose if I want it just one like this or if I want it side by side and it's the perfect size to kind of go right here um, what I had to buy additional to it are going to be the clips that you see here and then the little shelves as well I usually like to put a couple different things here um, sometimes I'll put the pink cups up there or other times I will put like little plants up there but for the holidays I wanted to do something a little bit different these did come in a companion pack it was for the Christmas edition and there were a couple of these cards here so I decided to hang them up on my grid board and I think they're like the perfect thing here but normally I will have just kind of like reminder notes or I'll have some pictures that I printed out that are posted up here and then again on these shelves I'll usually have some plants here there's that little box that I kept grabbing and then knocking my star over so that's why the star's not there anymore but right now the shelf is holding my battery pack that I use use for my lights and right above it, I decided to hang a little wreath. I ended up making this. Um, I bought the wreath at Joann's and it was just the greenery. And so then I added the pine cones and the berries that you see here, just to kind of add more of a, like a holiday Christmas vibe to my day. next up is going to be my quote unquote <laughs> drawers are I guess they're gonna have to be called shelves um it is one thing that I do regret with this desk here it is absolutely gorgeous as far as like an open look but then I didn't realize how much I was going to need those shelves for like storage so I am still kind of working with this concept of using these kind of bins to pull on and off as like a drawer. I'm not gonna pull this basket out um, all the way, but in this basket is where I'm storing all of my extra planner covers. So these are a few Motrim covers. In the boxes, I have some covers from cloth and paper um, as well. And as I collect more boxes, I will put them in there and just kind of stack it up. This is gonna be a Motrim box cover. And this is just how I store them, making sure that they're covered. And then as I collect more boxes, then put them in a box and this is where I will stack them here. The last thing that I have back here is going to be my laminator. Um, it's not plugged in right now, but I usually if what I'll do is I'll take this out from this bottom area and then I will just move it to the top of my desk when I am ready to. Okay, on this side, it is kind of the same setup. So this is also going to be another one of those cubbies. In here, I just have some electronics and clips. Um, in here and as I need things to be at my desk area I'm gonna add again those little boxes that go in here but this is like my little makeshift drawer. So coming down to this bottom shelf here in the back I have a lot of paper that I use for printing so that includes vellum acetate um, and my 32 pound paper that's gonna stay back there and then up here is where I have a storage container for all of my extra sticker sheets that I'll take out for y'all. So this is a greeting card storage box. I found this at Joann's um, and it's really nice because it fits the Happy Planner sticker sheets very nicely in here, which is what I have. Most of them are stored in here and then I have a couple of extra miscellaneous things. the top shelf I think this is my favorite shelf I have a couple of different decorations so normally I do have some candles or some sort of floral arrangements up here along with some Funko Pops and for the holidays I decided to put a Christmas tree up here and the new Harry Potter Funko Pop on this side I do have some more Hedwig um, decorations but a lot of this stuff here in my little farmhouse I got from the Target bullseye or the dollar spot um, and normally I just kind of swap everything out but I love how this black and white farmhouse looks next to my books from Joanna Gaines these are her cookbooks and her home design book I do have her second cookbook it's just it's in the kitchen right now but normally I have them kind of sitting up here at the top because um, they are pretty tall books and I just love how this contrast looks of black and white and then this one is not a book this is actually my teacher planner um, this one is now staying home I'm not taking this on the go with me and so just kind of for the sake of look of black white black 
I stuck this one up here at the top and I also kind of like how it climbs up here. On my second shelf is where we start to see things that are a little bit more functional for work and for planning. I'm gonna start over here with this piece that's in the back. Um, this I did get from Hobby Lobby along with this gold letter holder. Back here I have some sticker books that don't quite fit into the boxes. So like for example, the Heather Kell sticker books or the just or Live Love Posh or Jessica. I've got a couple of her books too. So they're gonna stay back here. And then I also keep some extra stickers um, and the ones that I like to print out myself. I'll keep them stored in these little envelopes. I did get these from cloth and paper so you can't buy these separate. But if I find anything else, um, that way I can kind of keep organizing them, then I will do that and just keep them back here. In the front, I got these from the Target Bullseye Spot or the Dollar Spot. Um, these were just some really cute ceramic um, organizers that I really liked. It says this, that, and then on the side of here, this one says stuff <laughs> for it. So normally I'll just keep a couple of different things. I lost the lighter for my candle. So usually that usually stays here. So if I have a candle on the top, um, that's where I'll store my lighter. Over here, I have a couple different earrings. Um, these are all from Annabelle over at the Kirby Planner. She makes these gorgeous designs. I will be sure to link her down below if you are interested. I know she is selling some some on her shop right now and then over here this is where I am keeping my Apple AirPod Pros right now I just have them in the regular wireless charging case I do want to find um, another kind of case for it to keep it more protected and since I don't want it to keep it on my desk um, I like to keep it up here so that way I know this is like its home base for it moving back over here I do have a eyeglass holder this I like to keep back there, um, and I also like to keep it on my bookshelf rather than in my bedroom. Um, and the reason for that is because most of the glasses that I have in here are blue light frames, which I absolutely use when I am at my computer. Just to kind of open it up and show you, I did get this from Key Australia. They do sell a couple of different designs. I don't know if they sell this one specifically, but I will link their description down below for it. I can hold four different frames in here, which again, most of them are my blue light frames. The last thing that is on this shelf here is going to be my acrylic drawers that I am using for both pens and washi. I did get these at Michael's. They come in a set of three drawers, and so I have two of them stacked on top of each other. One of them, this top one here, is going to be for my washi collection, and then this bottom one I have stored for my pen collection. As far as my washi collection goes, it has changed over time for the type of washi that I'm using, but the amount of washi is about the same. So I always like to keep at least one of these full of washi. And right now my big obsession is grid washi and the Stardust washi from Simply Gilded. So again, this is what I'm using for my storage of grid washi. I have solid colors and then some prints here as well. In this drawer, I have my Simply Gilded washi. I am collecting a few of the bows. These are the new colors that I got. This black, beautiful rose, and then a white. But my real love is probably the Stardust washi, and then of course these coffee washi, chemi coffee chemistry washies as well. And then in this drawer, I do have a lot more Simply Gilded washi. This is going to be the perforated bows. I love this design. This was a collab that she did with Teresa Collins. And then the back here are some of my favorite washies from the Happy Planner. So these are some older ones. So for example, the Homebody washi, just a couple of different older designs. And then in the very back row is all of my Harry Potter themed. I am absolutely in love with them. They all do come from different shops. If you see one and you're like, oh my goodness, where did you get that? Um, leave me a comment below. I'd be happy to let you guys know, but I definitely got these all from a couple of different shops and then I bought them from a couple of different people as well. So washi collection wise, I um, usually like to just to keep it to three drawers. And of course I love to organize the front as well. A pen drawer, this is something that I definitely need to go through and take some pens out. I just kind of been accumulating them, but they are organized though. So this right, right here, I'm super happy with the organization for it. So in this top one, I do have a bunch of Tombow. Um, most of them are the neutral colors that came in a pack that had like the really beautiful nudes and grays. And then back here, I have some extra mild liners that I am not using. So in this drawer, there are my pencils, <laughs> my mechanical pencils. These are some extra pens that I use for grading. So that's why they're going to be in here. I probably won't de-stash these are my pencils. This back drawer here are some brush markers that um, my friend gave me. 
I haven't used a lot of them yet because I'm mostly using the Tombows and the Mile Liners, but I am planning on doing some lettering challenges, so I'm going to see if I can utilize those. In this bottom drawer are my black pens. I do have a couple of different ones here. Um, in this front row, I have my favorite pens, which are those Sharpie pens in the two different sizes. And then I also have the Sharpie S-Gel pens. Um, these were recommended to me. I did buy a few. I do like them, but I think for me... What I really like is the grip of these pens, um, and I'm not a big fan of, I guess, how smooth it writes. I don't know if that's a thing, but I think between the two right now, I am loving these Sharpie pens um, for it, but these are also a great pen as well. Then I have some of my Tombow pens, um, drawing pens. I love these. These are very fine tip pens, and then some of them are brush pens as well. And then back here, I just have some pens that I got from like subscription boxes, from other cloth and paper, or from Simply Gilded as well. up my third shelf we are finally getting into the actual planners I like having them on this shelf here because my desk is just right here and if I'm sitting down I can easily come on over to the shelf and grab any of the planners that I need and any of the supplies that I need as well we are going to start here with my favorite organizer I think out of all the other all the ones that I have this is probably my favorite one this is an acrylic drawer organizer I did get this off of Amazon the structure of it has two small drawers at the top and then four large drawers at the bottom and I really love this um, because I feel like organization wise it is allowing me to keep everything um, separate it and to also have an easy visual of where it's at so acrylic organizers like this are just my absolute favorite i'm gonna go through the drawers here um up at the top i do have my journaling cards stored here they are from a bunch of different shops so i have shops from um cloth and paper my minimal planner and a couple of other shops as well that i store in here over here this is becoming one of my favorite drawers this is where i am storing all of my die cuts and i'll show you guys a couple of them here um, some of them are just ones that I print out so like little pictures that I'm using for journaling um, my favorites have got to be these from sweet bean plans she makes these little coffee trays um, and they're all different themes so I am trying to collect a bunch of them this one is going to be from her princess theme one's from mean girls her burn book I have one here from Captain Marvel there's some Harry Potter, my Ravenclaw. So I absolutely love these. I'm planning on putting them like in some journaling spreads, but I have a bunch of different shops in here as well. This is from Create with Mandy. And I'm just either printing them out myself if they're digital that I buy, or I will order them from their shops. And I kind of store them in here so that way I can keep them all organized and they're separate from my actual journaling cards. Okay, this next drawer is going to be full of my sticky notes, which is a little bit insane, guys. It is packed to the very top these are actually my new ones these are the transparent matte tab sticky notes that i just got in white and clear back here i have some circles the transparent ones my square page flags so if they're on this type of um i don't even know what to call it the background <laughs> if they have a back to them I keep them over here on this side and then the ones that you get without the back I've just been kind of storing them here and I actually don't know why this sticker is here so I'm going to take this one out my next drawer this one is going to have some sticker sheets that I order from shops I'll take this one out as well for you guys and um, so these are stickers sheets that are small enough to fit in here most of the ones that I have in that storage case are like from the happy planner books which are too big for these drawers so these are usually the ones that i have from shops so this one came from the orange umbrella in here i have a couple of more stickers here i have some from create with mandy i think i also have from some from sweeping plans as well just a lot of different shops so any shops that i order sticker sheets from um, i'll usually just drop them off in here here at the very bottom i have the sticker sets that you get from cloth and paper most of them are the teardrop ones because those are my new favorite shapes for them but if they're like stored here they're at the very bottom down here so dot sticker wise 
I would like, if I buy another one of these, I would like for them to have their own drawer. But for now, since I'm kind of condensing everything and trying to organize it to the best that I can, any of my extra sticker sheets like here are in here for right now. So future plan wise, if I do get another drawer set, this is something that I would want to separate along with the sticky notes. This next one here is going to have a couple different paper pads. So here I do have some additional sticky notes from cloth and paper. These are the habit trackers. These are some of the gray tab ones. Over here I have memo pads for messages. And then I also have some plastic journaling cards. So they're like the clear transparent ones. And then I have some extra transparent discs that are in here as well. So yeah, these are just these like transparent um, cards. I think they're called washi tape cards when I purchased them, but they're just like extra. So I would say this is my junk drawer, <laughs> just extra papers and stuff that are in here. My last drawer down here is where I have most of my tools that I'm working with. So I have my scissors, paper cutter, tweezers, glue, whiteout, some um, tapes, and then here are my teardrop paper clips. So if you guys ever see any of these, I did get them off of Amazon. They do come with a bunch of different colors, so I had to take those colorful ones out. So that way I only end up with gold, silver, or gold and black. But there are some companies that sell just one of these colors. So I wanted a bunch of each one, so that's why I got the multicolor pack. So if you see that in my Amazon shop, that's... It is the same one, it's just I took the colorful ones out. Hey guys, over here I have the planners that I am currently using. So I'm going to start over here um, with this one. This is actually an old teacher planner. And when I say I'm currently using it, it's because I'm pulling this out to reference what I did last year. So because this is still kind of in use, I keep this one um, next to my desk. Over here I do have two big happy planner notes. This has some notes from... For both work and for um, teaching as well. This one is going to be one of my new planners I'm using in 2021. This is the Love Letters Planner that I'll be using for handwriting challenges. This one is my budget planner. absolutely love this one. Here is another planner that I am using for work. This is the Classic HP. This is my on-the-go work planner. So the big one that I'm keeping here um we'll stay here and then this one goes on the go with me this one is going to be a planner that i'm using for journaling along with this one here it's going to be my half letter this is my catch-all planner so a lot goes into here for planning this is my mini on the go planner so this is always coming and going and this is actually a new one that i got and i just posted a video over the unboxing for it but this is my new pocket planner in the black croco i got this one for moterm there's not a lot in here i'm still putting it together but my plan is to possibly use this for like little notes or maybe as an on-the-go planner and i'll alternate between these two but i just love how these look together here with all of my black planner covers My fourth shelf is going to be some items that I do grab often, but I don't mind if they're not showing, which are going to be my sticker books that are back there. And then over here, I have textbooks that I end up using for work. So what ends up happening is by the time I get to the fourth shelf, my desk starts to hide it um, because they are so close together, which is fine. Um, so I wanted something here that I didn't have to pull out like I do with the books. So here I have enough space, I can easily pull these out right next to my desk. But over here, I needed something that was a little bit more easier to pull out. And the first thing that came to my mind were my sticker books. These are the sticker books that I grab the most often. Right now, I'm grabbing a bunch of the holiday ones. Um, here are like colorful shapes. And then these are some of my sticker favorite sticker books that I have, like this Babe, Wild Style, Modern Farmhouse. These are the ones I'm gravitating toward the most. Um, I do have them stored in a couple different storage boxes. So this first one over here is just going to be like a photo box. And I'll show you this one up closer when I show you even more sticker books. So this is not the whole collection, guys. But I'll show you this box in more detail. These, though, only have two. These are from the Happy Planner. I'll show you guys a little bit closer here. So these are the Happy Planner sticker storage boxes. I only have two of them um, because I got them on a big discount sale. And I like them because they do store a lot, but I would prefer the photo boxes that I use a little bit more. 
um, they do store a lot and they are divided a little bit easier here. So I can kind of keep them sectioned off. But for me, it's all just about having a place to store them that's sturdy. So this worked out fine. I do like the design of it for it. But again, these are just the sticker books that I'm using most often. These stay here. And so if I want a sticker book, I can just pull it out and it doesn't really interfere with my desk space. And then I can just come back in here to put it in. So this height difference isn't a big issue because the sticker books are perfect there. And then as far as this part here, again, these are just textbooks that I commonly grab um, that I need for both home. And then uh, some of these I have extra copies that are at work. So this is going to be what I use for prepping. Okay, so down here on this bottom shelf, I do have some more of the wire baskets that are on my desk. And then I also have another one of those greeting card storages. And then there is a black cloth and paper box down back there. All of this is holding like my extra extra inserts and extra paper. So I took this one out so that way you could see this is housing all of my inserts. Um, I kind of know where they're at. So like the front is half letter and the back is HP mini size for it. But um, and then they're all kind of like stored based on whether they're inserts that I've used or if they're inserts that I haven't used um, yet yeah, still here in the package. This is the perfect size for the half letter for sure and of course the HP mini which is smaller than it and I just kind of keep them all extra in here and I have it right here next to me by my desk in case I need to grab any inserts. This one is pretty heavy so I'm not going to pull it out but what I normally do if I need any one of these inserts um, if it's still in the package I have a couple of half letter sheets here. Back here I have some classic size um, big size HP papers stored back here and then these are the rest of those pads that I like to use for my desk so this is going to be from cloth and paper I have some from happy planner in here um, all of these are ones that I've used I've already purged the ones that I don't use already but these are ones that I have used that I will continue using so they're gonna stay stored in here and then in that cloth and paper box back there that's just kind of um, some extra paper that overflowed from here. So that has a couple of extra sheets as well. So I have had this lamp for a really long time. I don't know where I got it, um, but it is still working. And I really love the shelves and the black does work with what I'm going for over here on the rest of my furniture for my office space. So I kind of have it off here to the corner and these are some of the planner materials that I don't grab very often, which is why they're kind of further away for it. So I'll just kind of show you guys what I have going on here. So on the top, I do have like the little sticker pads. Um, these are the ones that I feel like I would end up using. I did purge a few already, but I feel like I might de-stash even more but for now I've got enough that fit into these plastic little bins here that I got from Michaels and this is ultimately what I want to buy for those drawers that are on my desk right now over here are the discs again I don't switch out my discs very often but when I do I love that they're already kind of in these little organizers here they are plastic so that's a really helpful um, feature for them that way they're not banging up on glass all the time i have bought these at a couple different places i would say michael's is your best bet to check out to see if they have any extra or they have these in stock but i've bought them from a couple of different craft shops here um but i have some of my metal plastic expander mini happy planner disc these are the ones that i am using um or that i really like so I end up keeping them stored in here. On the second and the third shelf that you see down here are some Happy Planner sticker books. This is a much smaller collection than what I had at the beginning of the year for sure. I have de-stashed a bunch and I am still going through and de-stashing them. But these are sticker books that I really love. I just don't use as often. So for example, the bookish sticker book, I think it is so cute, but I barely use it so it is staying with me for now until I feel like I want to de-stash it um, but there are a couple of other ones here's an oldie the blue journaling one I really love how that one looks there um, for it and then I have a bunch of fitness my budgeting sticker books again I don't use these a lot but I like I, I still want to keep them as far as how I'm storing them these are the photo storage boxes that I was talking about 
They do hold quite a few books. I got these from Joann's. Um, they do have a top to them, but for me, I usually just take it off and then I can store a good amount of sticker books in here. So if you're looking for um, an affordable or less expensive option from the Happy Planner Storage Sticker Books, highly recommend um, getting these photo storage boxes that are here. They do hold a pretty good amount of books. here is my computer chair it is a black material with the silver hardware um when i first bought this i really liked it because i wanted something that was black to match the furniture itself and they only had gold and silver so i chose silver but i kind of don't like this chair anymore so chair wise it is a good chair but for me I think I want something a little bit different going into it. So I'm probably gonna switch this out at some point next year. This is one of my savings goals is to save up for a new computer chair. it for my desk tour thank you so much for staying tuned and watching it if you are new to my channel i hope you hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos of how i use my planners going forward and if you have any questions about any of the items that you saw in this video make sure to leave a comment down below be happy to help you guys but i will see you all next time